Now we are going to demonstrate how to use this frequency meter. Here we have used the complete setup for we have maintained the complete setup of Kirshton mount. In Kirshton mount, we have used the Kirshton isolator frequency meter. After the frequency meter, we have used the detector mount. The detector mount is detecting the waveform which is we are getting on the CRO. Now, how to calculate or how to get the frequency by using this analog frequency meter? This frequency meter gives us a reading in a gigahertz range only. If you move this frequency meter then you can observe that the output frequency or the output wave which we are we, we, we getting the initially that is that was the square wave it goes down to the zero that means we are not getting the complete square wave it is because so whatever the waveform which is coming from the Kirshton and the isolator it is goes uh, tuned or it is completely attenuated by the, this frequency meter. Hence we can calculate, calculate that the frequency by using the frequency meter for getting that we have to make a concentration in between these two red lines and vertical red line. So whatever the numbers which are in between these two horizontal red lines coinciding with this vertical red line that is our frequency provided that the output frequency on the CRO must be zero here you can observe that the red line coinciding in between the uh, these two horizontal line is 9.54 so 9.54 gigahertz is the frequency now we are getting on the CRO so this this is was the demonstration for use of a frequency meter